Welcome to BioRad Science Ambassador Program. We want to thank you for participating in the program and sharing your passion for science with the students. The video you're watching now is to provide you with an overview of the materials in your kit to give you some planning and technique tips so that you'll have a very successful day. So step one, watch the video. Check. The next step is to take a look at the components in your kit. So you've got your quick start guide, which you've already found. The next thing we have for you is a great little thumb drive. And there's some nice electronic resources on this thumb drive. You've got the PowerPoint presentation you can use with the students, the video montage of other students doing this, the video you saw when you actually signed up for the program. We also have a great little packet of temporary tattoos. They say, I love your DNA, and the students will love these. These are for you to bring on the day of the event. Next, we have a really cool t-shirt. This is your Science Ambassador t-shirt. So we recommend that you wear it on the day of the event, and you can represent the Science Ambassador program. All right, the next part that we have is actually the Jeans in a Bottle kit, and this is the activity you will be doing with students. There's one large box. This has the instruction manual, which is great. It has some great background information for you in terms of why we do DNA extraction and what it means to students. All of the plastics and the reagents you're going to need for the day are also in here. There's a second box. That's this little white box. And this has the DNA necklace modules themselves. So all of the little um, amulets that are shaped like a DNA helix. That comes in the little white box. So as soon as you get your kit, you really want to review your materials. You need to provide a few extra pieces, such as some small paper cups and some alcohol. And you want to be prepared for the day. So make sure you've gone through everything and you'll have a really smooth, successful event. So we've provided a few tips for you to make sure you have a really successful day with students. We've run this lab many times with students and teachers, and we've got a few special tricks for you. So one of the things that you really want to make sure you've done is to talk to the teacher before the day of your event. Uh, you need to find out how much time you will have and what grade level the students are at. Have they ever experienced uh, using a transfer pipette before? If not, if the teacher can do that ahead of time, that's great. But if not, we'll show you one way you can incorporate practice with water and also prepare for the lab. One of the items on your list of additional supplies is paper cups. And the reason for this is that the small 15 mil tubes that are provided in the kit can be a little tricky for younger students particularly to spit into. So after they've collected their cheek cells, instead of going into a tube, it's great to have them use small paper cups. And again, if you want to give them an opportunity to practice using a transfer pipette, have them pipette the water that they're going to use to collect their cheek cells into their cups. So the transfer pipette, really simple device, a lot like an eyedropper. So it's got a bulb at the top that you squeeze. It's got some markings on the side. Right here, just below the bulb, is one mil. The students need three mils of water for this activity, so have them transfer three mils of water from the big drinking water cup into their own personal paper cup. All right? Squeeze the bulb, put the tip right into the water, and then draw up. At the one mil mark, there you go, transfer it into the little cup. So have the students do this three times. They're going to start feeling like little scientists right away. And it helped you in preparing the lab. So after your students have collected their cheek cells, the next step is to precipitate the DNA. And I want to show you a couple tricks on adding your alcohol to the DNA. Students might want to take their tube with all their cells and shake it up and play with it. You really want to discourage that. Another thing, when you're adding the alcohol to these tubes, you can either have them pipette the alcohol using the transfer pipette, take several additions, or you can simply pour the alcohol into the tube. That's a quick and easy way to do it. So if you've got your alcohol maybe into a, a, a tube like this one or a small beaker, that would work fine. You want to have the students hold their tube that has their cells and water in it at about a 45 degree angle. And then you're going to gently just pour the alcohol into the tube and fill it up until that tube hits about 14 ml. 
having a few paper towels around will also help with a little bit of mess. So they've added that alcohol. And then you basically just want them to gently invert the tube a few times. I can already see my DNA precipitating in the tube. You start seeing some nice little stringy bits of DNA. And interestingly, they have some little bubbles clinging onto them. So hopefully you can see that there's some strands of TNA that have now come into, come into view. The tricky step that's next, not too tricky, is transferring the DNA from the big tube into their DNA necklace vial. So this cool little DNA helix shaped vial. So what you want to do is you really want to have the students transfer just DNA and a little bit of alcohol. So what I recommend, you know your transfer pipette's kind of like a mini vacuum cleaner. Have the students give a gentle squeeze to the bulb, then direct the tip right where they see their DNA mass. Hoover it up like a little vacuum cleaner. And then simply transfer that to the helix or the little vial. And it, you can only put about a half a mil of liquid into the vial. So as soon as you get it about full, there you go. And I think you've probably noticed that a paper cup makes a really great little test tube rack. So they've added the DNA to the cool vial. Next step, put the cap on. Very cool. And then we've also provided in the kit the black cord so they can complete their necklace. So just thread that through, tie a little knot, and you're good to go. There you have your very own DNA necklace. So that's it. You've made your very cool DNA necklaces. We know that you're going to have a great time. Uh, there's nothing like turning on that light bulb for students, especially those of us that love science. When they see their DNA for the first time, it's an experience they will always remember. So we would love to hear from you and hear how your day went. Uh, please send us a message on our Facebook page. Uh, if, you have, if you have some cool video or any other stories you want to share, you can also send us an email. So as you're preparing for the event, if you have any questions, we've probably heard them before. If you go to the BioRad Science Ambassadors website, you can go to our FAQ page. And we've got all sorts of tips and answers to your most common questions. If you're a little uncomfortable or insecure, call our technical support team. They've been supporting teachers with Jeans in a Bottle for over a decade, and we'd love to help you. So give us a call, share your experience, and best of all, share your passion for science.